Okay, welcome back. And of all the writers at Rents.com, and there are some very good ones, none shines brighter than Jim Kerwin in terms of his true dedication, his passion, his incendiary way with words. He puts it out there in a way that very few do. He is speaking directly from his soul, his heart, his mind, and as they say, his gut. He tells it like it is, and people like it. He gets... I get compliments all the time uh, to pass along to him. I unfortunately don't pass them on as often as I should, but uh, he is literally revered around the world as one of the few Americans who is able to quantify and qualify things quickly, easily, and it, it's almost like he is an intellectual everyman, the way he speaks and writes, and uh, it's great to have Jim Kerwin back with us tonight. Hello, James. Good evening, Jeff. How are you? I'm, well... Uh, as we roll into the end of the year, I'm like you. I'm appalled, uh, stunned, constantly flabbergasted with how much lower it goes. Uh, they seem to be plumbing the depths of depravity, and the uh, certainly the deconstruction of this country has increased a pace so much so that it is mind-boggling. I, Fifteen years ago, I could not imagine the in-your-face, in-our-faces demolishing the demolition of our constitutional republic at the rate at which it's going. I mean, they don't give a, a, a they don't give a tinker's damn about us anymore. They own the courts, they own the Congress, they own practically everything. When you own the media and the money, I mean, what else is there? And I'll well, shut up on that. <laughs> uh, it's fascinating that the United States Supreme Court has not had a damn thing to say about any of this. I thought that the Supreme Court was capable of reading the Constitution, but perhaps I'm wrong. Yeah, we, I yeah. can't imagine how they could allow this to continue without having interfered at some point. It is, it is, it is unimaginable, and yet the bottom well, line is that's right. The race, the government, <laughs> is right in front of the entire world, is absolutely astounding. I mean, you can't remove the founding document, the Constitution of the country, without removing at the same time the entire validity of the government as it sits today. So with no validity, they continue mm -hmm. to shove this thing down our throat as if it's a done deal, as yeah. if we have no mm -hmm. say whatsoever in what comes up. And today they declared war on the United States with this red and blue thing that just came out this afternoon, basically saying that um, they, in their uh, supremacy over the rest of us, have decided... Mm -hmm that everybody that's not part of the government is the enemy of the United States of America. L literal, folks, this is not figurative. L that's the, right. lit the literal that's enemy fact. of this country. Mm -hmm. and, and for people to, the people that have had all this time with their heads buried firmly in the sand, to not say anything for fear of their jobs, for fear of the future, pretending that tomorrow will not, what will actually see the uh, rebirth of yesterday is ludicrous. And, and anybody with a brain, anybody can track facts that can pay attention to where this country has is going and may go much quicker now, too. Uh, it's just beyond belief. And, and I went tonight in one of my favorite places to have a farewell dinner for myself and basically explain to the people where I was that life is over, as far as they're concerned. And if, they, if I see them next week, it'll be a miracle. They were wow. Um, wow. astounded. And I explained chapter and mm -hmm. verse mm -hmm. exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm. they <clears throat> you, and, you, and I could be, uh, you and I could be cellmates next week. Yeah, absolutely. And I, they said, what are you celebrating? I said, this is my last supper. I'm having a really good time here. He said, but, 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 no, no you're, you're exaggerating. I said, I'm yeah. not exaggerating. The sheep Had you don't paid care. any attention to this, half as much attention as you pay to wow, what wonderful food you're having, you know, all you foodies over there, all those, that, that fun crowd and that other bunch over there that loves football, you guys are going to be history in a yeah. week, yeah. maybe 10 days. Mm -hmm. That's about what you have left. So why don't you just, you know, really celebrate, have a really good time, because it's over, guys. You didn't do anything. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. We have, I've been fighting this goddamn war for 47 years. Yeah. We have not won a single time. We have not even tried to push back. We must learn how to say no. 
we have all we have done is just remain silent. And silence, in the face of this, is submission. By our we, silence, we allow. Uh, and by the way, the Occupy Wall Street movement was so pitiable, uh, just a, an obscenity. Since 2003, Jeff, this has yeah. been going on. Yeah. We just got plugged in recently, but it's been going on since 2003 throughout the world. And we let these people in $600 a night hotel rooms right. in, in New York City right. control the agenda for this whole thing. And we pretend that these people are somebody, that they're right. doing something. Right. Tonight they came out with this thing. On the 17th of January, they're, they're promising to occupy Congress. Excuse me? Too late? Too little? They should be in jail. If we learn how to say no all over again. Once upon a time, we used to know how to say no. Now they put a gun to our heads and we learn how to say yes. We have to stop that at, at the fundamental level of each and every person. I mean, people have been worried about their jobs and all this other baloney. That's all history anyway. They go through with this. You haven't got a job unless they say you can have one. They, they will take everything you have and put you in a camp in exchange for food because there won't be any more food. They planned on this for the, for, for the, in, a, in order to answer the economic collapse which they have been instrumental in creating. So they, they figure that we don't have a choice. That we're locked into doing exactly what they said, and there's no choice for us at all. But there is a choice. And the more of us who come up, become awake and alive and alert to what's going on, the, more, the greater the chance is that we can actually repel this um, force situation that they have more than planned for for decades to get this thing through. It, it, this is phenomenal stuff, and we need to find ways, as just ordinary people, to come together to get this thing to stop, because if we don't, we haven't got a future, we don't have a world, and tomorrow is just one giant nightmare. And, and we're better than that. We can do this. It comes down to us. If we want to make it better, then we can make it better, because whether or not it's the end of the day or the end of the coming year, or the end of this year, and mm -hmm the beginning of a black new year, the solutions that we're looking for are really up to us. We have to learn how to act in our own defense we have in to ways that we can. Right. We have to set aside the fear. They've been, yeah. in, they've been instilling fear in people for decades now. They know how to do it. By the way, they also know how to do it electromagnetically. They've got oh, yeah. RF. They can send out their EMF, whatever you want to call it, that will actually trigger in the mind extreme fear anxiety, and stress. They can do that. Broadcast frequencies. They know exactly how to, to do that. They, in fact, they use it around the perimeters of military bases sometimes. So but they can do what, that. Yeah. I'm 72 years old, okay? I eat junk food, I drink, I smoke. I've got every bad habit in the world. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. My, my mentality has not been depreciated and I'm not special. The point is, what keeps us from, those of us who resist, from being caught up in this, is a willingness to live our lives the way we wish to live them. It's about the passion for living, right. yeah. for being alive, that makes the difference. And if you don't have that passion, then you really, you know, you deserted yourself. They have sold their soul That's right. to technology. And within technology, all depends on electronic communication, which is satellites. Two, satellite, two, nothing. two EMF bursts at 50,000 feet over this country. Will yep. kill it electromagnetically. Mm -hmm. They're dead. And the Chinese have that, and so do the Russians. And probably <laughs> others. Just, just yeah. in case. And we're pushing both of them hard. Okay. And it, it's not that unthinkable. It's not even a bomb, per se, except to electronics. Correct. And it shuts them down. <laughs> Airplanes <laughs> fall out of the done, sky, and they, and they can't harden every microcircuit, no chance. No That's way. right. Well, no, they, they, they purposely made a decision not to because it was too expensive. Yeah. The only people that actually hardened their, their electronics were the Russians back during the Cold War. Well, and the Russians and we laughed and, at them. Yeah, the Russians and Chinese actually have civil defense programs, too. Yeah. Remember, but when's we the last time you heard of saying, ours? Yeah, we don't need that stuff. It's a waste of money. We, you know, we'll just overwhelm them. We'll overpower yeah, we everybody hid behind, who opposes it. Yeah, hid behind mutual assured destruction so we don't need it. So. Right. But we, the irony of doing that is that we have left, the military has left us mm -hmm. that gigantic gap in that what they think of as their absolutely, totally powerful shield 
that is going to allow them to turn us into a bunch of ants that they can stomp on. Mm-hmm. But without that shield, mm-hmm. they're alone in the field. They're not going to be able to get supplies. They can't move. They won't know where to move because they don't know where the action is. I would be very interested to see how many of our men and women in military walk. That would be really (laughs) interesting. That's something that they probably don't have a real handle on, and that Mm. probably does scare them. Didn't plan on that. (laughs) It's all about what you plan on and what you don't plan on. 